Hey guys. Okay, so I am going to show you how to make something um, that turned up in your pin party club um, woodland post office box. So super important, do not watch this video if you don't want to see a spoiler of something that is in the woodland post office box. Okay, phew. Now I've got rid of those guys, we can talk about them. Um, no, I can show you. Okay, so in your woodland post office box you received this super cute postcard um okay and what you can do with it is you can make a happy post box yay um so i'm just going to show you some little quick tips um, on how to make your post box so things you will need can i just say being a blue peter presenter has been my goal in life and now i feel like i'm achieving it so this makes me really happy um okay things you will need scissors glue any pva glue should do the trick this one's really useful actually because it has a little nozzle um, and you can like angle the glue but any glue should be fine things that you do not need but may make your life easier are nail scissors cello tape okay so the first thing you want to do guys is you want to cut around all of the dotted lines to cut out everything like these things i cut out earlier Huzzah! Um, okay, a little tip guys, when you're cutting out around here, um, okay, so the best way to do it is going to be with um, a scalpel and then you can like actually put it on the cutting board and cut. I don't have a scalpel and pretty much chances are that you don't either. So a little tip, um, although I just did this one really quickly and it's actually super messy and quite embarrassing, but I'm sure you can do it much more neatly. Um, you could also use a kitchen knife to score if you wanted to, but just be really careful. Obviously, please don't cut yourself. Um, and if you are not an adult, then probably just don't do this because there's far too many sharp things involved. <laughs> okay, so what you could do is you could um, make a hole there in the cardboard, um, and then it just makes it easier to put your scissors in and then to cut. And then nail scissors is really good because it's a little bit fiddly, and then you can just cut round. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier than cutting with these scissors because it's a little bit trickier. Okay, cool. So when you cut out all your pieces, the next thing you want to do, you will have two of these red circles. And one is going to be the bottom of your post box and one is going to be the top. They're both the same. Does not matter which way round. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to fold this long part of the post box. Um, and we're going to be attaching it onto here. So what you can do is you can glue where it says glue and you can fold and... What you'll probably also need if you choose to glue is two um, clothes pegs just to hold it closed while it dries and then you have to wait for it to dry. I am super impatient so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get a little bit of extra strong sellotape and I'm going to stick it um, and the sellotape will show at the back so it won't look as nice but... I am very impatient so that's it and I was gonna go back and glue this but I've just used the sellotape and do you know what no one's ever gonna see the back so I'm pretty happy with that so this is like a little cheat if you are lazy like me and impatient okay cool so I've got my sellotape on there Um, so here is the front of my box and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put um, a spiral of glue Okay, I'm going to do it with the lid on because I don't want to get it all over me holding it up in the air. But I'm going to put glue all around here. And then I'm going to very quickly come over and pop it right in the middle. And then I'm going to wait for it to dry. And you will have this. Ta-da! Here's what I made earlier. Um, okay, cool. So when that's dry, um, I actually didn't know if it would look messy. But it actually looks the, dry, the glue has dried super clear. Um, and it looks pretty good. I'm chuffed with that. Okay, so you'll notice when I was designing this, I didn't really think about what you would see through the hole. Um, but actually, you can see the little squirrel's face, so I think it's quite cute. I'm not too, um, I'm not too unhappy with that. So the next thing you want to build is the lid of your post box. And now um, we're going to take this long bit here, which makes the lid, and I'm going to fold it round. And again, you can glue it and hold it with um, a clothes peg or a paper clip. Um, or you can do it the super cheap way and get a little bit of sellotape and then instantly have it stuck. Um, and yeah, it will be nicer if you glue it, but in the modern world, we're all a bit impatient, aren't we? 
so so yeah so what you want to do is just make sure um that the little flap lines up with the little edge there um, and pop the sellotape on that and this one as well um i have I have sellotaped it and um, I haven't glued it and it's really not that noticeable at all guys, it's not that noticeable. Um, so it's up to you what you want to do and then you have your circle. So again I'm going to put glue all the way around the edge and then very very quickly I want the red colour on top so I'm going to stick it into the middle here and wait for that to dry. And then I have my lid, and of course we get our little um, our little pigeon, <laughs> our posty pigeon, and we um, I'll show you with the squirrel because I didn't have one cut out. But um, yeah, the little fold line you want to just fold along there, guys, and then you want to put a little bit of glue, and then you want to oh oh, and then you want to stick it to the top. You can put the squirrel on there if you want. Um, on this one I have chosen to put the little pasty pigeon okay cool so then um, you have your your post box lid and it goes on the post box and it's all super cute ready to go on your desk and um, so the other thing that we have is we have these two little tiny cards um, <laughs> that you can write little cute messages on um, really love to know your ideas and um, what you want to do if you're a happy post post box um, but I think it would be really nice to write a little happy message and pop it in the post box and then have a look at it whenever you want to see a little nice message. Um, okay, so what I really want to do is I want to see your post boxes. Um, and I want to see them in use. That would make me so, so happy. So if you do make yours, then please let me know. If you did not get the Woodland Post Office Pin Party Club subscription box, um, then there will probably be some up soon on my website for you to grab and um, if you want to make your very own happy post box and there's a load of other cute stuff in there as well like an enamel pin um, and other things that are top secret now but will be all revealed later um so that's it really yeah i just like i just really like the kind of making things i find it so fun so thank you for watching oh yeah and also sorry so you can have him on your desk and then you've got the squirrel as well so here you will like stand up if you bend that bit back um, and he can be like guarding the post box or whatever you want or you can put the squirrel on there and have the pigeon down there whatever you want to do and i really really want to see your photos and please tag them with hashtag pin party club um, and also if you want to see more of my videos then subscribe to my youtube channel because i love 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 to make them okay have a lovely rest of your day